Hey guys, so today we'll be taking a quick look here at Android 4.1.2 for the original Galaxy Note. And this is a new leak, it's a pre-release build of Android 4.1.2 for the original Galaxy Note. So this has nothing to do with the uh, Galaxy Note 2, but I'm pretty sure there are builds for Android 4.1.2 out for the Galaxy Note 2. On my Galaxy Note 2, I am basically rocking Android 4.1.1 at the moment. Yeah, you can see my name there, pretty sexy. Yeah, with a heart. Uh, but yeah, so uh, the reason why I'm not installing Android 4.1.2 right now on my Galaxy Note 2 is because I'm using it as my main phone, and if you get, you don't want to get any problems with it. So this is, let's see here, we can go ahead and check out the build, what it's being called. If you go ahead and go into the settings, and I'm gonna go ahead and review it and talk about what's new and all those good things. So you can see Android 4.1.2, it's the baseman version N7000XXLSA. So you can see also the build number there, JCO54K and uh, then N7000, blah, blah, blah. So this is the build. So finally it is out. It is, uh, of course, when it's rocking Android 4.1, that means that it is a Jelly Bean, ver uh, Jelly Bean version of Android, uh, which is 4.2, that's also Jelly Bean. That basically means that the first cool thing is that it comes with Project Butter, which makes it extremely, extremely, extremely smooth here in the transitions. When you go here, you can probably see it a little bit. And I definitely think that you will see a major, major difference there in how smooth it is compared to earlier versions here. Uh, if I remember it correct, uh, I remember that 4.0 ICS was a little bit sluggish here, but Perk Butter is definitely better on the original Galaxy Note. And not as good though as on my Galaxy Note 2, of course, but th that's nothing weird. It shouldn't shouldn't be like that. I mean, like it's, it's a year old device. Uh, but still, on the latest version of Android right now, it, it, it is performing very, very well here with the Project Butter. It's probably my new favorite feature here, that it's it's really, really extremely smooth here. And sometimes you get a little bit of stutter, but it's still pretty, pretty good for being a year old device and running the latest version of Android over here. Uh, now, also one cool thing, of course, with uh, this new version of Android is you get multi-window. So as you can see here, I can open up two programs and run them at the same time uh, with this new update. So let's say I wanna use, let's say I wanna uh, open up maps over here and let's say I wanna open up, let's see. Uh, let's say I wanna open up uh, chat on. I never used it though, but as you can see, you can dual task like this. Okay, skip. You can see that I can basically run two programs here at the same time which is pretty cool, it works with a lot of programs. So let's say you wanna surf the web over here and then you wanna text a guy or friend or something, you can go ahead and do so. So basically by doing that, how, how you activate this is basically you hold in this back button and then you will see a little thing here on the side and then you can quickly open up two programs and run them side by side. Multi-window, this is actually like real Android multitasking uh, and it's pretty, pretty cool. And uh, I don't use it that much though, but I can definitely see some people that might want to, you know, use it. You can like have a video uh, up here and then you can also have, you know, you can, you know, surf the web or do something. It's, it's amazing actually, I like the possibilities with it. Uh, and of course, when we're talking about videos, of course, in you you get this pop-up play thing uh, with this version of Android. Uh, so uh, basically, what that means is that uh, you get the same. You know, Galaxy S3 they came with the feature where if you play a video, you can pop it up in a window and they can move it around. And they can do things in the background. The reason why I'm not showing this right now is because I have some private stuff on <laughs> on this. On this guy, I have a lot of pictures on it, and I need to, you know, clean it. But it works kind of the same, so that is pretty cool. Uh, also, one very good thing here is the new notification area, which comes, of course, with the new updated notification area. You have the uh, slider here for brightness, and then of course you have a ton of ton of quick widgets here. You can quickly toggle, and this is actually better than the latest version of Android, if you uh, ask me, because in the latest version of Android, they also have like they call it the power widgets up here, but uh, you know. You, the first thing I think most people assume is that if you took a Wi-Fi here, it will just disable it. And that's how it works over here. As you can see over here, it disables it. But if you do that on the latest version, the stock version of Android, then it, when you, you click on that, you know, you, you think it's a quick button, but then actually when you qu click on it in Android 4.2, it will actually jump to the settings area uh, in Android and go to the Wi-Fi settings. And I think m most people appreciate this more, you know, you just quickly toggle and then use close. And the same thing over here with brightness controls that the Samsung put it over here. You don't have to go 
like in the stock version of the new Android, then you have to tap up here and go to widget. And you know, this is just a quick, quick, uh, I prefer it more here in the new uh, version of TouchWiz. And one very, very cool thing here is that you can customize these notifications as you see over here. You can also see that we have multi window here. You can quickly disable it if you don't want anything to happen when you hold it, uh, when you long press like the back button. But you can actually customize this notification area. And this is not something that you can do in Android 4.1.1. Uh, or Android 4.1.1, yeah, version of Jelly Bean in my Galaxy Note 2. Uh, but if you go to the display area, you can see the notification panel. Here is a cool way where you can quickly customize whatever you need and the order of these. Let's say you want to prioritize blocking mode or let's say you want to remove blocking mode from this area. You can quickly go ahead and do so. And this is something that I, I'm definitely probably going to use. Uh, I'm probably going to tweak a little bit because let, let's say you never use GPS. You don't have to have it up here. You can just remove those things that you don't want. It is pretty, pretty cool. And also you get the new Galaxy S3 widgets. Uh, when we go ahead and go to widgets over here, you can see that we get those kinds of cool widgets here that you, you might uh, want to have your favorite contacts, favorite settings. Uh, you also get FM radio, Gmail. Google Plus Post, Flipboard, Music Player, Play Store, and uh, some are probably old here, but S Planner, Mini Today, they're probably very, very useful. And S Note Direct, and the S, um, this boy over here, the normal S Note, and the traffic. You have a ton, a ton of widgets here that is, that is already built in, so pretty, pretty useful. So if you just go ahead and continue, you also, of course, get one of the big things uh, in. Uh, the latest version of Android and also in Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. Of course, you get Google Now now built in, so you can use it like uh, this is Google Now. Define Google. And like you can talk to. As you see, we, we get this kind of card here, which is kind of like Google's own what from Alpha or Google's own Siri that they built into the latest version of Android. You can like ask. Uh, you can like ask Google now something like what is two plus two or as you see we got, we got up a card over here some details about Google I said define Google and you get some voice and sometimes you know you need to get used to it but Google now could be extremely extremely helpful if you use it a lot uh, it should be able to keep track of your flights your booked stuff your booked hotels and all those cool things uh, if you sync your mail and stuff like that but uh, if you really want to you know become power user of your Android device definitely you should check out Google now more and see how it works but what is two plus two I mean you can ask the it. answer is four yeah source Google uh, you can ask it a little bit anything it's a little bit more like an improved Google and uh, it's probably kind of useful and if you like Wolfram Alpha you're probably gonna like enjoy this so Google now is of course built in of course you also you get some cool things also uh, in the latest version here uh, like smart rotation if you go ahead and go to the, the over here uh, you can see that we can have a smart stay and uh, the screen stays on as long as you're looking at it of course you need to be in a bright environment to get that to work uh, but smart rotation also works like this like every time you look at the device with your head it should be able to rotate in the way you look at it you know uh, and of course we also get the new home screen mode so you get a basic mode and an easy mode uh, the easy mode is basically mo mo probably most for old, uh, old people you know uh, but it's pr pretty nice you know for old people like favorite contacts you can edit this uh, have your own favorite contact over here. You have the alarm quickly add that you have your favorite settings And as you see it's a little bit more optimized for old people and I think they will appreciate this But uh, this thing favorite contacts is really really useful if you have some people that you that you always 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 call You know, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah uh, what else? What else? What else? Uh, Pop-up play video. Yes, I've already talked about that. Let's just go ahead and go over. Of course, you get the new page body. If you go ahead and go to normal home screen mode over here, basic mode. Um, because, I mean, this is a Galaxy Note. So, of course, the S Pen features is something that's extremely useful. But this is like the page body, uh, which uh, you can quickly create notes with this widget. You have recipe, you have note, idea note, meeting note, magazine, memo, travel, diary. And I've already, I think I used this a little bit for private, that's why I'm not uh, opening up, but of course, you know, it, it, it works uh, awesome, you know, with the S Pen and stuff. And here you can see that uh, this is the widget that I did put out pretty quick. Uh, but yeah, just a very, very quick look here at Android 4.1.2 4 
uh, jelly bean for the original Galaxy Note and it is pretty nice and uh, it's very, very easy to flash you just go to uh, Sam Mobile and then you just go back a few articles um, I think this was leaked just a few days ago from the date when I uploaded this video and it is pretty pretty nice and the first time I did install it, it felt a little bit too sluggish, but that was just because I've been using the Galaxy S3 for like six months, and then I've been using the Galaxy Note 2 for like two months now. So, of course, those are quickie devices right now on the market, so I'm kind of used to those console speeds. But now, when I've been using it, you, you know, you're playing around with it now for like 20 to 30 minutes. It, it really is not that of a big deal. I mean, like, uh, it, I don't, I don't feel th those, you know, small stutter things that I did feel a little bit earlier. So that is obviously something that is very, very nice. Let's see here what happens. I'm not sure if they had a burst mode. No, they don't have the burst mode uh, that the that the original or that the Galaxy S3 and the. Uh, the Galaxy Note 2 has, so that's it's something that's a little bit disappointing, but it could have something with the camera sensors and stuff like that to do it. Uh, but still, amazing device, amazing device, I love it. And I love this new version of Android, and it's it, it was pretty good here. As you can see, it's a little bit slow sometimes when you close apps. Uh, and of course, it's just a pre-release build, so they can still improve it a lot. Uh, so that, that's definitely something that you uh, want to keep a look out for, you know, updates and stuff like that. But it, I would say that if you're rocking the... Uh, Galaxy Note, the original Galaxy Note right now, you should definitely go ahead and give this a go. It's definitely way, way better than Android 4.0 ICS and it contains so many more features like Google Now, Smart Rotation, Home Screen Modes, Product Butter especially, Multi-Window, Customize the Notification Area. I think that's a major, major thing that you can customize these things and also that you get this kind of area so you can quickly customize things, that you get new widgets and of course you can also play around with different launchers and make the phone feel even snappier because something that I've noticed is sometimes when you have different transition effects it, the device could definitely feel a lot quicker uh, like with this transition effect I think the phone feels super quick uh, compared to when I'm in the app drawer and just have this normal uh, little bit half boring um, you know kind of transition effect but of course you can play around with the uh, different launchers and uh, find what you like the most. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this very, very quick video here of the Galaxy Note rocking the Android 4.1.2 Jelly Bean. Yeah, just have an awesome day right now and I'll see you all hopefully in the next video. Yeah, peace out.